Hello everybody and welcome to Bindi and the Dark Revival. I'm not exactly familiar, well, I say I'm not familiar with Bindi uh, stuff, but I did watch some videos on um, the original Bindi and the Ink Machine whenever it first came out, but each chapter just came out so slowly, at some point I just kind of forgot it even existed, and so I never really uh, watched videos on it. But this game... Uh, I've heard some interesting things about. I haven't watched any videos on it because I wanted to come in fresh on it. So let's see. I did have a save, but that was like dealing with audio issues. So I have seen some of the stuff before. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come to devour you. What have I done? What crimes have I committed? I, this is news to me. I don't remember doing anything. Am I a fucking war criminal? What did I do? I actually don't remember that part. <laughs> oh, she's drawing Bindi. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. For a little adventure. I, um, when I was younger, actually even recently I made one, like, like at the beginning of this year, um, stop motion, which is like, kind of like this, where you have to do it frame by frame, but you have to like, move a 3D model around slowly, kind of like, I guess, animation now. Um, that was so, so mind-numbing at times. I can't imagine what it's like to have to draw the entire thing out every time. So, like, if you mess up, you have to, like, kind of start from scratch versus, like, if I mess up with stop motion, I can just move it back into place. Like, if it, like, if, like, the thing I'm using falls over, like, if it's a Lego or clay thing, I can just move it back into the spot. I don't have to recreate the entire thing versus with that. You have to, like, you have to draw it. You have to recreate it manually every time. Time. Okay. Hi, what's your name? Nathan Arch. Hi, Nathan. Why this? What? Why is this here? This is just supposed to be like a regular animation studio. Why is there just random shit blocking the hallway? Okay, Back great. That's here. locked. Good thing I brought my own key today. They locked you inside the studio? I have a lot of questions. Who put this here. I have a lot of questions about the people who run this place. Um first, pretty sure that's like a safety hazard. Uh two, I'm pretty sure locking your employees inside the building is just kind of illegal. Uh, how does that even happen? Okay, you have your own key. Here's the key. But, like, she said that, like, as if normally she wouldn't have the key. Like, oh, good thing I have this key. Like, I'm lucky about for having that. Like, so, like, that makes it sound like maybe she wouldn't have had the key. <laughs> then she just would have been fucked. Go full Doom guy, just smash through the door. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Oh no! A broom! A bucket! Ooh! It's gonna Hello. shove its way up its Is victim's ass. Its preferred method of killing.
Oh, hey, this is open. Can I go in here? Hello? Hello? Anybody in there? Yeah, that's... No. That looks like the only door that's open. Why is that door open? A uh, boop. Hi. Audrey. Wilson. Hi, Wilson. You scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. Mm-hmm. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. This is a workplace. But if I step in. Wandering around by myself. Uh, this is my workplace. Uh, not. Thank you. What? I'm not okay. wandering the streets of like a downtown you like the downtown of a city. I'm I'm walking through my own workplace. What do you mean, wandering around? Who's gonna kidnap me? You? Like, so far, the only person I should be worried about is it's you. Been really nice this past week. Just beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah, please don't stare at me while you say that. What was that? Please stop please staring stop at me. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot this past few days. No need to fret. Thanks, Wilson. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Yeah, but like so far, according to you, the only person I should be worried about is you, since you're the only other person here. You know what I mean? Like, you're saying I shouldn't be wandering around the halls. It's dangerous. You're the only danger here, technically. You Oh, I have to talk to you to do your job? <laughs> Thanks, Wilson. Just a few more switches to throw. Uh huh. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Yeah, you keep trying to like reassure me that everything's fine, everything's safe. You're gonna protect me. I. Mm, I don't know. I'm getting some real um, not stand-up guy vibes from you. I mean, you're already, like, playing real hard into that stupid, like, oh, the creepy janitor stereotype. But, like, you're doing, you're going, like, full in. Hi, oh, hi. I didn't realize I had to keep talking to you to move forward. There's nothing really here for me to do. Stop making me talk to you. I don't want to speak to you. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've played games before. I know this. Sweet Audrey. Don't look at me like that. Do an old man a favor and go find them. Okay. I'll tend to One condition. Stop staring at me and stop talking to me. Then we can have that deal. What are the items I need? I need... A wrench? Why do, why do I need a wrench? What possible significance does a wrench have to an animation studio? Okay. I guess. Hi. You look interactable. You are. Oh, here's the gear. Hi. I hope this, whatever this is, didn't need that piece. Well, seeing as all these books have no names or are turned away from me, I'm going to guess this is the book I need. But you can't guess how I figured that one out. Uh, I mean, I guess I told you. Hi. I don't like that sound. That sounded awful. Never make that gooey sound ever again. Oh, Bendy. Hi, Bendy. Do you bend? You do, in fact, bend. Thank you for showing us that. Uh, Audrey? Is that your name? I think that's her name. I don't know. I'm really bad with names. Hi, Bendy. 
go into the sacrificial uh, pedestal. <laughs> Rip out your heart, sacrifice you to the to the gods. <laughs> Actually, um, now that I think about it, these do kind of look like sacrificial pedestal type things. Hi, right, have you done your job yet? Wow, convenient that you finished it right as I finished the thing you asked thing me to do. To do. Uh huh. Oh, that switch. The, that's your job, though. I'm just an animator. You, I can't hurt my delicate little fingers. You know how hard it is to have steady hands. Do you? Do you know how hard animation would be if I got my hands dirty and they just weren't as steady as before? Fuck you. Fine, I'll do it. Right, uh, did you just run there? How? The things you've set in motion. What's happening? Uh. Why? Can't you hear it? Why are it uh, uh, Don't fret. Wilson, I don't like that you're Going seeming on. to be gooing me right Stay now. Back. Listen to me, Audrey. Audrey, punch him in the face. He's old and frail. He won't be able to take it. Last words. Audrey, you push him over, like half his bones will break. Just do it. Don't touch me. Go. Yeah. Come. No, no, no touch, no touch, no touch. Stop touching me, Wilson. I'll show you the truth. This can't be real. And now we die. What? You're killing? Huh? What are you doing? Audrey, just punch him. He'll die instant. No. How did an old, frail man push me into the ink? I... How weak is Audrey? <laughs> God, a five pound weight is like as her maximum limit of being able to lift something. God, that pen that she has to lift up. You know, I... I, I turned down the music on uh, the audio uh, before recording. Um, doesn't care. Still wants to murder my ears. Jesus Christ. That was very excessive. Holy shit. Oh no, he gooed me. <laughs> I don't like that they make that gooey sound. Oh, Audrey. What's happened to you? Um, you know what, Audrey? I'm gonna say what's happened to you is your fault. You had so many opportunities, though. Just punch that guy in the face. Like, not to blame the victim, but damn, he was a frail old man, and you are, I'm assuming, like, you know... Yeah, you could have punched him in the face and he would have died. I guess, like, in the end, though, <laughs> she still would have, like, drowned in the ink. Um, but, you know, could have taken him out first. Avenge yourself before you die? I don't know. Hi, right, welcome home. Can I walk in the goo? Hi, goo. You're very walkable. I don't, I don't like that crying, nah. I mean, relatable, but come on, man. Jeez, you think I was drawing kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change, life moves on. Telly Wester. I can crouch? Oh, I, th <laughs> I took my brain a second to understand what that was telling me because I thought it was telling me to interact with the flower. Attention, children of the machine. Are you saying I'm your child? 
Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation. God, I don't know why I read it in such a... I've read that in like four different tones. <laughs> we have been with you for many years and we will have contributed to... Well, when we feel we have contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping the company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy Lawrence. Okay. Yes, we- Why? Okay, so have I been asleep for like almost a year or like has he just been coming and going as he pleases? I'm so confused. And why am I important to him? Is he? Am I right to think that he's just like really creepy and perverted or like am I some weird experiment for him? The ink drips. Darkness is spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. That's, uh, that's creepy. I'm assuming it's talking about the ink there. Um... Oh, the door is opening. Okay, I was like, am I supposed to go somewhere else? Like, I don't know. Hi! You're dead, I think. Hi. Are you that guy? Are you part of the butcher gang? Looks like someone butchered you before. Uh, we could butcher them. Your hand is not looking so good there. Actually kind of uh, missing uh, is what I would describe that hand as. Ooh, what's this? I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well... Farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? No idea. Uh, actually, no, I do know. This. This is what becomes of your creations. Hi, what are you? Security override. N now that I think about it, this all seems a lot like the intro to Outlast. Just... Hmm. I would know I played that game like 50 times in a row one time. I played the shit out of Outlast. I fucking love Outlast. Can't wait for Outlast Trials to come out. Hi! That's cool. Heavenly Toys? Alice Angel, Bendy, uh, Edgar, the Butcher Gang? Uh, Boris the Wolf? Oh no, you're just part of the butcher gang. Barley? Charlie. Hi, Boris. You're, um, you're blocking my way there, buddy. Uh, can you, like, fucking move? Maybe? Oh, there's another way. Okay. Out of... Oh, out of order. Just the... F I don't know, it looked like like two different words and neither of them looked like order at first. That didn't do anything. Oh hey, wait, there's something up there. Uh, do I go get that? Oh shit. Wait, weren't you just dead? Wait a minute, you were just a corpse. Hey, 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 hey now, hey. That, ah, what the f- you're supposed to be dead! 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 I saw you rotting! Does ink rot? Where'd he go? Oh, hi! 
I god Nice teeth you got. You maybe wanna not breathe on me with those rotten masses of ink, I guess. It looks like Abe Lincoln. Oh, gotta get food. Gotta get food. Gotta be fast. He's not coming after me, is he? I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps patch you up. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. Hi. Easy now. Who are I'm you? Not gonna hurt you. Look like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Uh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. How long have you been down scary. here? But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand the butcher gang? any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving. And stay close to the shadows. How many Take people? My advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Fuck your dog. I'm better. Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. No. Oh. We meet again. Put that son of a bitch down. I'll take its place. I am way better than your stupid dog. Above everything else. Stay away from the ink demon. Mm -hmm. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He I thought I thought Wilson said he killed he kills the ink demon. That moves. Wait. What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. Then what's your name? I'm Audrey. <laughs> well, Audrey. Welcome to the studio. You don't like to be called Alice, and what's your name? <laughs> Tell me to call you something else. I, like, as an Alice Angel because of the horns? I, I have a lot of concerns and questions about that conversation. Like, how many people has Wilson been, like, I guess, technically murdering? What's this? Hello, secret? I'll save it. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. This has been an interesting introduction to the game. Um, I have a lot of concerns. Like, what the fuck is Wilson's deal? I'm mostly concerned about Wilson. Especially, that bastard broke our deal. I said, don't, I'll grab the things if you don't talk to me and if you don't touch me. And he did both of those things immediately after I put those things on the pedestals. That son of a bitch immediately went back on our deal. That... Huh? Can I... Oh, that must have been where that dude went. Oh. But that motherfucker. I'm gonna bash his head in with a wrench. I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more, you can subscribe. Uh, and you'll be updated on whenever I get another video uploaded at some point in the future maybe bye